Originally for this review, I had a whole thing written about how I was digging through my analytics and that a lot of my thumbs down on beer reviews came from actual subscribers, like my Elysian review. All four were from subscribers. In fact, a good 20% of my channel's total thumbs down are from subscribers, so thanks guys for keeping my YouTube dream alive. For Father's Day, my wife bought me some IPAs, some Sculpins, it used to be the dad in the family would do things in conjunction with beer. Fix things with beer like lawn mowers. Break things further with beer after trying to fix them. Do stuff in the garage with beer. Whatever the hell goes on in there. And nowadays it's maintain your online presence and your social media followers while drinking beer. Ah, this is going to be a clever one. Oh, only a thousand views? Weird. Now, if I have 2,000 followers on the Instagrams, why did this one only get 200 hearts? Because your posts are stupid. Aw, oh, but I'm creating art. Social art. So with that out of the way, let's thank Corona for buying Ballast Point and bringing all their IPAs down a dollar or two. A six-pack. On their full line of IPA beers, which is basically all they make. I mean, still paying $13 a six-pack is still kind of shitty for what amounts to a bunch of average variations on the same shit. Are we pouring yet? The color of the beer is a dark amber. You can't see through it. Opaque, but not cloudy. One might also say the color of aged urine in the toilet of an abandoned house. The foam is kind of dense at first, but parts quickly into larger bubbles. Not creamy, but prickly foam. Largely spaced bubbles. Not largely, like medium spaced bubbles. Also, here's a shot of my Leatherman Wave. I shot this review and that one at the same time. You're like, don't care. I'm here for the awkward beer descriptions. Apparently, so are the insects. Joke, what did the Irishman say to the bug in his beer? Spit it out. That was a favorite joke of my dad's. The smell, watery hops, a little bit of pineapple. Not a lot, nothing special. Corona said it's perfect. Don't change a thing, guys. Have you drank our beer? Can anyone guess the relative humidity outside by my pit stains or greasy hair? All right, let's drink it. Nothing better than pine needles at 7% alcohol by volume on a hot summer day. Am I right? The taste is piney. Pine needles. Pineapple. Pine saw. I'll go with pine saw. Hops big and hard, like a lot of American IPAs. If you don't care for IPAs much, then you won't care for this one. That's how it goes. Some aftertaste of pineapple and vegetables, like the essence of a green bell pepper. Doesn't taste quite like one, but, you know, has that quality. Just another interchangeable IPA. You like my Father's Day present? The tulip glass. Hopefully people will start taking me seriously now that I have the right glass. Where were we? Oh yeah, mouthfeel uh, of interchangeable IPA. Like all the others, if you're wondering why I keep looking over my shoulder, you're right. I hope the neighbors aren't watching. And if you like this sort of review, and you like watching YouTube reviews, and think uh, that actually may be poop on my butt instead of dirt, subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, unless you're you know, one of the regulars who hate these videos but feel like giving them a thumbs down anyway anonymously, that's fine, good for you. Hey, this isn't a knife channel, it's a lifestyle channel. Living the quote-unquote stock mail social media life, buddy. So leave a comment, take another sip of your interchangeable IPA. Thanks for watching.